Hello, Julie here, and today's plan with me is a voiceover as I've never tried one of those before. I'm planning for Christmas week in my classic happy planner. First of all, I'm getting the wax paper so that I can pull out the stickers that I want. I'm using the new seasons book because I really wanted to use the turkey dinner stickers. They're so much fun. I know they're meant for Thanksgiving, but here in England, turkey dinner is a big tradition. I'm also using squad goals because I thought the colours and the style of stickers really matched. The idea I had was to create three scenes of things that would happen during Christmas week. I also used the other squad girls book to find the decorative stickers that I needed for this spread. I also pulled out a few boxes, even though I usually make my own. I decided to use this black and white grid washi to highlight the three scenes on the page. But when I looked at it, I thought it was a little bit wide. So I decided to rip it into smaller strips. I placed one on the left hand side of the page and then, as the other side is larger, I place the other two. I wanted the third strip at the bottom to be straight, like a tablecloth for the dinner table, so I made sure I cut it straight along the lines. Unfortunately, I'm in a bit of a mess at the moment with Christmas fast approaching, so I couldn't find my X-Acto knife anywhere, so I had to go back to my old trick of using a store card which can be quite tricky if you don't leave much tape at the edge to tear off. Now the washi is down, I'm starting to work on the dinner scene and I find the arms holding the plate are a little bit long, so I'm just trimming them down. These stickers with the arms just jutting out from the sides are really fun. It takes a bit of adjusting for me to fit them in the box without bumping into each other. And with hindsight, I probably should have used all four squares at the bottom of the page. For the next scene, I use this adorable snowman from the Squad Life sticker book. This is a scene with the Squad Girls shopping, and I can't quite make my mind up which tree to use with them. I have a green one and a pink one. I eventually decide on the pink one, and then I have a bit of a job getting it straight. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to stickers, so you'll often see me pulling stickers up and straightening them. When I went to put the girl with all the presents on, I found that there wasn't room for her. So I needed to take the washi tape off the page and move it down ever so slightly, just so she could fit on. I put a Christmas tree beside her and left a little gap, which later I go back and fill in. Next, I added some pretty snowflakes from the Squad Live sticker book to make a pretty snowy wintry scene. With the three scenes finished, I moved on to adding some boxes. I make my own boxes on the computer and I make them just slightly smaller than the boxes on the Happy Planner page. I just like the way that looks. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know I have a tendency to place all the boxes in the box, but you can see I am overlapping the stickers here, which is something it took me a long time to do. I generally use my planner to write my to-do lists and to record appointments and events. And sometimes I do a little bit of journaling too. So boxes are always useful. I'm adding one of these banners from the Squad Goals sticker book. If you've ever used one of these, you know it's quite tricky to place them at the right angle so that they fit across the two boxes. I had a lot of problems finding a long sticker for the sidebar that matched the colours in the spread. Happy Planner just don't do enough of them. So I ended up having to bring in another colour orange. I really wasn't sure about adding another colour but of course I had to add an orange box to the other side just for balance. As I need my spread to be functional and I have lots of to-dos in the week of Christmas I added in some flag stickers from the Squad Gold sticker book. I also like to put a to-do sticker at the top of the sidebar. I thought these boxes looked a little bit plain, so I used this Ho 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 washi from the Christmas sticker book just to add a little bit of extra interest. You'll notice I found my X-Acto knife, or one of them, it was actually in my stationery drawer. The other one turned up sometime later in my kitchen drawer of all places. I noticed that I hadn't cut the washi strip at the bottom of the page, so I took care of that. 
Using an X-Acto knife is a bit of an art. You have to apply the right pressure not to cut through the page to the other side. The Ho 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 Washi came from the Christmas Joy sticker book. Believe it or not, my dad actually has a hospital appointment on Christmas Eve. Not exactly how we wanted to spend Christmas Eve. So I'm just adding some appointment stickers to my spread. I found this cute woolly hat in the Squad Gold sticker book, so I added it to the snowman. Then I took this decorative box sticker from the New Seasons book, which says tis the season, and added it to the sidebar to finish it off. I noticed the gap on the other side of the page between the girl and the Christmas tree, so I add these presents just to complete that scene. I'm just adding final finishing touches now. I don't like the way that sidebar comes to an abrupt end because I put that sticker at the bottom. So I use a piece of washi just to make it look like a complete box. My final touch is to use the word Christmas dinner from the little tiny strip stickers. But it was on clear paper and it didn't really show on top of the washi. So I needed to stick it to label paper and cut round it so that it really stood out. That's a really good tip if you've got a clear sticker that you want to use but doesn't show clearly. Just add it to label paper and it turns into a ready-made sticker. So after a final look, I decide I've done enough tinkering and I'm happy with how it looks. I hope you've enjoyed seeing me create this Christmas spread. Do let me know in the comments what you think of the voiceover. It makes the video a bit shorter, which is something you might prefer. I hope you have a lovely Christmas and see you soon.